Hey everyone, this is Georgia, the Dream Coach. And so, um, just want to welcome, if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here before, hey girl, hey. And guys, and so today, I usually, before I get into that, before, usually on these channels, I am a posture show I talk about my Poshmark um, adventures, <laughs> as we call them. And also, I also talk about, I'm a motiv motivational speaker and life coach, so I talk about, um, you know, women's empowerment topics that can, uh, you know, Lift a woman to be a better version of herself is essentially what I do. And so today, I'm just going to jump right in because like I said before, I tend to be long-winded and I could keep going forever. So let's just get right into this. So what happened is I am a, I am a you know, YouTuber. Just started out, but I'm a YouTuber. And so I usually watch, I watch people. I watch, I, the reason why I even got into YouTube in the first place is because I watch other YouTubers, right? And so um, I was watching this one YouTuber and she was talking about, um, how they talk about how they met there's a couple that talk about how they met and she was like you know she said she liked this guy for like a year but she didn't think she was she what she said like as if she would say um she liked him but she didn't know if a guy like him would want a girl like her or something to that effect and i was like what and then i'm looking at this i'm looking at this beautiful african girl african princess or queen with his average guy inside her. Not that anything was wrong with him being average. But my point is, he didn't say anything. He didn't say, oh, girl, you're beautiful. What are you talking about? He didn't say anything to kind of like reciprocate what she just said. Right? He just like let it go. And I was thinking to myself, so I, I, she put boost his ego at the expense of putting herself down. I was like, and that thing hit my spirit. I'm thinking, no, 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 no. We, we can't do that. I'm not doing that. Because... I am the price, you know, I am the price. And if you can't see that, then you're not for me, right? So that kind of like got me sh just thinking about it. So that's why I'm posting. If you notice, I'm, a di I'm, a different, I'm in a different um, venue. This is my bedroom. Um, I just decided to decide just, just to do something, you know, just to talk to you guys about that. And I was just thinking, you know, we self-sabotage yourself on a daily basis. We self-sabotage. We talk things to, about ourselves. We say things about to put ourselves down and don't think we're good enough. We are. We are good enough. We are better than good. <laughs> That's such a term. We we we, we gotta stop. We gotta stop putting ourselves down. Because when she said it, and then it, it was like, oh my god, girl, you're better than this. We're better than this. We're absolutely better than this. And it's about our mindset and what we think about ourselves. We sabotage ourselves, and then. It, it reminds me when I heard her say to Remy, this is my book, Mom. It's the first book I've ever written. It's called Shining Through the Darkness. And it, one of the chapters talked about the enemy within. And I think that sometimes we are our own worst enemy. You've heard people say that all the time. You know, you have external enemies. So there are times when you have an external enemy and you could walk away from the enemy. You could hang up on them. You could block them. I mean, you could avoid those enemies. But what if the enemy is you? What if you are your own worst enemy? How do you get, how do you get away from yourself? Well, you can't. So instead of trying to get away from yourself, you have to shift your mind. It's about shifting your mindset. And those things, those thoughts, and those things that comes to your mind that tells you all of these things about yourself, you have to counteract it with positivity. Every time something said, I'm not good enough, you said, no. I can do all things. I'm always going to go baby call. Just so you know, on this channel, I'm always going to go baby call because that's what keeps me. That's what grounds me. So I, these, these scripture verses, I, I, I mean, you have to know your scripture verses that, that way. Every time something negative comes against in your mind, you, you overreact to something positive. I am the head. I'm not the tail. I am above, not many. I don't care if I don't feel like it today. I, I may not feel it, but I'm going to keep repeating it to myself till I do. Right? I'm going to keep saying that I can do all things, not just something, all things through Christ. I'm going to keep saying that. I'm going to keep believe, even like I said, even if I don't believe it, I'm going to keep saying it till I do believe it. Right? But we do, when, when I heard her say that, it kind of like, oh my God, I've been, I've done that. We've all done that. I mean, come on, we've all done that. There are things that we don't like about ourselves, me included. Right? But when I, but when I look at myself, I can't, I can no longer analyze. I'm an A, A, type A personality where I analyze every, take myself apart. Have you ever taken a beautiful picture, right? And everybody said, oh my God, this picture is beautiful. But you saw, you see something wrong with it. No, stupid. You say something about this. 
there's something about the picture you don't like. And everybody said, oh my God, this picture is gorgeous. What are you talking about? But you say something wrong with it, right? I got a few insecurities myself. Like for instance, not necessarily insecurity, but things that I may not like about myself, like the tone of my voice. It wasn't this deep. It sounds, for me, it sounds like a, like a man, okay? And I know that I never used to talk like that, but then I'm, I'm going to go back to my doctor. Maybe it's something I need to look at my thyroid, whatever. Who knows? My hormones may be off, whatever. Do you think that's going to stop me from talking? No, it's not going to stop me from talking. I'm going to talk. I'm going to keep talking, okay? That's what you're going to do. Okay, I look at, my, I, have a, I brought my mirror as an illustration here, right? And I'm looking at myself, I'm saying, okay, what is it that I like when you look at yourself in the mirror? What is it that you like about yourself? Hmm. I like my eyes. I got beautiful eyes. Okay. I like my nose. I got a cute little nose and I like it. I like my full I have full lips. I like my lips. Okay. I think I'm beautiful. I think I look I'm 52 years old and I could pass pass for 40 or 40. 42. Am I putting, am I saying that I'm better than everybody else or whatever? Am I trying to get a big head? No. But if I don't put my, if I don't prop myself up, then nobody else will because people feed off your energy. You, they feed off for you how you think, how you say things. You keep putting down yourself. Then why would somebody try to put you up? You're not going to, in fact, you're not going to believe it. When somebody say you're beautiful or somebody tell you, give me a negative, uh, 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 you know, a compliment, you are not going to believe it because you're going to think that something is wrong with you. Or you, you may think that they want something. Why, they, why are you complimenting me? Then you're not going to believe it. So you can't, you're not even going to receive when somebody says something complimentary to you because you're not, you don't believe it. So we talk ourselves out of the proper relationship. We talk ourselves out of, the, you know, the proper, just not even man to woman, just in general people that we associate ourselves with because of how we think about ourselves. Right? I'm not I'm not doing that anymore. If you if you're not conducive to my uh well-being, if you, if every time I'm talking to you or every time you come in my space, you're bringing me down, you're making me feel low just by words because people have this passive aggressive thing that they they they're insulting you but they make it but they're, they're not saying it out loud. They're not saying it in a way they're insulting. You have to be in tune with what they're saying to you to realize that they're putting you down. If you're that kind of person, then I don't want you in my space because I, I need, I need my, I need to have a good. My space has to be good. It has to be my ear head has to be clear. There's so much things going on, especially this year. I don't have time for you and your neg negativity. Not in what I do, because you're not going to stop me from doing what I, what I, what I want to do as far as my goals or whatever. You're not going to stop me from doing that, and you're not going to put me down and 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 still think I'm going to be your friend or, you know, we have a relationship, whatever. I don't, I don't care. You're not going to do that because I have to know. I have to know if you, you got to know for yourself, girl, that you are it. You are the prize. Like I said before, if you don't know you're the prize, ain't nobody going to treat you like a prize. You're going to be treated like, you know, any fake could be zirconia. Instead of being a diamond that you are, you're going to be treated as such. So you have to, you, I'm going to, I'm not sabotaging myself no more. I'm not talking myself out of no more. I will not talk myself out of any more job. I would not talk myself out of any business that I wanted to create. I'm not talking myself out of any book that I want to write. I'm not talking about talking myself out of anything else. Because I deserve it. I deserve it. I'm a child of God. I deserve the best. And if I know that I deserve the best, then why am I settling for mediocre? When I, when I can be great. If I can be great, why am I settling for any old kind of lifestyle? Any old kind of life when I can do better? I can be better than this. Right? So, what you got to do? You, like I said before, you have to shift your mind. You Be careful of those thoughts that you think because as a man, think it so easy. What you say... On my former pastor, she always said, she always talk, she talk about when she talk about, you know, be careful what, if it's in your heart, it's going to come out of your mouth. Be careful what you have in your heart. Be careful of the things that have that's in your heart. And she always, I've always heard her say that when she have a, a meeting, she have a women's, we have a women's conference or whatever, which she always said, whatever is in your heart, come out of your mouth. So you change what's in your heart, how you think about yourself. You have to change that. That's 
that's one. I dig digress for a second, but that's one of the things that like, you hear people say things like you hear those celebrities they may say something and they have to go back and apologize for what they said. I don't believe it. When you apologize or when they talk about this misquote, you didn't misquote nothing or misspoke nothing. You said that what was in your heart, that's why it came out of your mouth. Because whatever is in your heart is going to come out of your mouth. Same thing. You know, when someone says something and they apologize, no, no, no. You apologize because you said it out loud. Because someone actually heard it. That's what you're apologizing for. Not that you apologize for what you said. You meant what you said, is what I'm trying to say. You just, sorry, because you heard and then how it's heard and how it's received, you might go, oh my God, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, you meant just, you didn't mean to say it, but it came out of your mouth because it's in your heart. So change those things that's in your heart 